Alright, DS6, uh, Human Revolution Part 4. Yeah, let's continue. Yeah, I'm not good at these stealth type games. Still shaking up a little bit. What if I could sneak over there right really fast? Yeah, that's how you do it. Boss style. Yeah, look at my experience. It's going up. All right, cutscene time. <laughs> Step away from the console now. <laughs> Damn. Son of a bitch. Pritchard, you still there? Where else would I be? Patch me to Seraph. Now. All right. Adam, it's David. You got the typhoon? Yeah. But you were right about there being something more behind this. Because I've also got a dead purist in here with some pretty interesting cerebral implants. Don't touch him. We'll need an expert to recover his neural hub in case it's booby trapped. Copy that. What about Sanders? SWAT's pressure me to let them off the leash. Find them before they do, and deal with them. Will do. <laughs> Now there's a negotiation coming up here, so I might restart it a couple times because I want to get this perfect. <clears throat> Sounds like an awesome fight going on down there. There's going to be two guys up here. Yep. Yep, that's how you do it. And you alert everyone in the process. Gotta wait for them. I know they're gonna come around that corner. I have a feeling they are. There was something here, man. Keep watching. Please just go the other way. Don't turn around. Thank you. I love finding these handy um, air ducts like that. Son of my bitch.
Come on, pop out. <coughs> Damn it, I'm not gonna be able to hit him from there. Alright. Time to get some ammo and shiz it. Oh, fucking bullshit. Alright. And gone it is. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and save the game here. Because I'm not sure exactly where the hell I'm supposed to go. <clears throat> I don't know if it's gonna be up here where I have to do that negotiation or what. Yeah, it's right here. Don't lie to me. I don't want to hurt you. She sounds exactly like a man. That's scary. But I will. <laughs> don't give me a choice. If you didn't want to hurt anyone, you should have stayed home tonight. Oh, look. Seraph's attack dog. You're here to clean up before the police bust in? He thinks we're breaking the law. Shut up. <laughs> All you body polluters break laws. You're all the same. You're gonna have a That's hard a time convincing people you're any different. Once they hear you had an AUG on your team. What? I found your attack dog in the factoring labs. Trying to cut through security with his implanted hackware. Nice try, Cholo. But I would never let one of you freaks on my crew. Ah! Back off, Hunter. I've got business to take care of, understand? Now this is gonna be the hard part what here. What you say is true. And I'm not saying it is, you hear? But I gotta... I gotta check things out. So, me and La Vieja, we're leaving. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know I can't let you go with her. Stand down, Hanser. I told you, stand down or this bitch is dead. Bullshit. You're bigger than that. You don't That's clearly a man. <laughs> Damn right. I'm a decorated vet. And I won't be jerked around. I need to find out who's behind this, and right now the boss lady's my only ticket out of here. Listen to me. Whatever's going on, it's big. You've got a better chance of getting to the bottom of it if you work with me. But I can't do a thing until you let her go. Are you stupid? I don't work with dogs. God, you must think I'm some kind of moron. And who can blame you? Because it's exactly what it must look like to everyone right now. Trapped in here by the cops, and my only option is to take a hostage. How screwed up is that? All right. You just think that taking a hostage is your only way out of here. You're so committed to that tactic, you're not seeing any other solution. Let her go, and you will. Sorry, but I got no choice. I know you're kind. I saw it a million times in the Gulf. The only thing augmented goons like you care about is gaining the advantage. Just like the cops out there. I'd have to be stupid to do anything you tell me to. The cops will be looking after civilians. They're too busy to worry about you. But if something happens to her, you will get their attention. Their priorities will shift, and all you'll accomplish is getting yourself killed. Nice try. But if they're so worried about this AUG lover, then they'll make sure nothing happens to her, won't they? You've wasted enough of my time. That chink wire hit refused my brother and screwed us over. Just I failed. I, always does. I gotta find out why, so shove off, Gearbox! Is your whole family this stupid? The workers being here tonight was part of the hacker's plan. He was counting on you using a hostage, so you'd get yourself killed and tie up a loose end. You're stumbling right into another of his traps. No, I'm not. He... He... God! I almost fell for it again! Oh, shit. No way, man. He's not suckering me twice in one night. 
get lost, chica. Before you get me killed. I did what you wanted. So let me go. I got played here too, I see. I've got as much interest in finding out who's really behind this as you do, Cameron. Yeah, well... Maybe I'll owe you one. But I promise you this. Someone's gonna pay. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Adam! He's here somewhere. Adam, what's the happening? What's your situation? Adam! Sanders is Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I did it. But I'm pretty sure he's just a dude. Somebody else set this up. Damn it. Okay, I want you back here now. The admin building has a rooftop terrace. Meet Farida on it. Copy. Jensen out. You made a All lot right. of people happy tonight, I did Jensen. It. Yeah. And not just the men in suits. It's what they pay me for. No. They pay you to put corporate interests ahead of people. You found a way to satisfy everyone. Guess Dr. Reed was telling the truth. <laughs> yes. Megan, what are you talking about, Malik? Before you were hired, she said the papers were lying about Mexican town. That you weren't fired from the force. You quit when you realized protect and serve had become protect and serve the corporate interest. Nice to see she was right. You ready to go? <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, get me out of here, Malik. Your wish is my command. Climb in. All right. Another cutscene. Just gotta love those cutscenes, right? Flying straight towards the buildings, yeah. Loading screen. So yeah, I think this game's pretty damn fun. I like it a lot so far. <sighs> but the fact of these loading screens and uh, all these cutscenes and everything, it just makes it like less interesting to play. It's like you have very little gameplay and more cutscenes. But I guess that's what the uh, the difficulty's for, though, so... Yeah, it doesn't really matter. So right after this cutscene, I'm gonna end this video, and... Yeah! I think there's you a little dialogue. Testing, yep. The boss wants Pritchard to examine the Typhoon ASAP. Copy that. Thanks for the lift. No problem. Hey, and uh, Jensen, I just wanted to say, new look suits you. Like you haven't missed a beat at all. Thanks. So, how's it feel, being augmented? Excuse me. Don't take it the wrong way. I mean, I've got a few neuro enhancements myself, discreet ones to help me fly better. But I chose to get them implanted. You didn't. Now that you had a chance to try him out, what do you think? You're right. I didn't choose to get augmented. And I still don't know if I would have if given the choice. But today felt good. Surprisingly good. Dr. Reed said you'd take to them. <laughs> said it was in your genes. Just be careful, okay? A lot of people think there's a reason the human body rejects this technology over time. I didn't peg you for the type who gets caught up in metaphysical debates, Malik. I'm not. I told you myself, I've got neuro enhancements. I'm just saying the choices we do get to make inevitably have consequences. Yeah, tell that to the bastard who did this to me. I hear you. And you know what? You're not the only person in this place who wants to find him. So if I can help in any way, all you gotta do is ask. All right. Actually, there is something. I wanna know about the first attack. Fine, ask away. I've been thinking about why they attacked. What they were really after. Isn't it obvious? They didn't want us going to Washington. No, that was just timing. Hearings can be rescheduled. Somebody else can present Megan's findings. I don't think so, Jensen. They took out her whole team. Declan Faraday, Vasily Sevchenko, Nia Colvin, even Eric Koss. The labs their bodies were found in. Were burned to a crisp. I know. The only reason you weren't caught in the fire was because that retaining wall came down. Saved your life, believe it or not. So the whole attack was just to destroy Megan's research. Sure looks that way. Mr. Mm -hmm. Seraph is hoping to reconstruct it, but it may take months. If he can keep us solvent that long. 
Did anyone else see them? The men who attacked? Not well enough to get a description. Pritchard got some fuzzy images off one of the Intellicams, but his tapes were all confiscated by Homeland Security. Homeland? I heard Homicide passed it over to Special Investigations. Detroit Special Investigations. They did. For the first month. After that... All I really know is, the case is still pending. And Mr. Seraph is not pleased. You were there that night. What do you remember about it? That it was chaos. First, everybody figured there'd been some kind of accident, but Pritchard couldn't get a good visual and communications were haywire. Then we heard the explosions. By the time anyone knew what had hit us... They were gone. Whoever they were, they were good, Jensen. Special training good. I'm gonna find them, Malik. One way or another. I believe you. And just so you know, when you do, I've got your back. I appreciate that, Malik, but right now... You've got to get the Typhoon into the tech lab, right. See you later, then. Oh, and Jensen, the boss wants a face-to-face -face debrief in his office once it's secure. Roger that. Good night, Malik. Alright, guys, um, this is the end of this part here, so um, stay tuned for the next one. Peace out.